Let's take a look at what's called a geometric sequence. You'll notice here that in this list of numbers, they're doubling. Each one is twice the size of the previous. When a sequence is being multiplied by a number to get the next term, we say that it's increasing by a factor of two or that it has a common ratio of two. Another way to state that is r equals two. r is the number that we're multiplying each term in the sequence by to get the next number. A series, as you'll recall, is the addition of the numbers in a sequence. Suppose we were adding these numbers. Notice that each one of these is changing by a factor of negative one third from one term to the next. That means if I were to take any term and multiply it by negative one third, that we would get the next term. We also say that this has a common ratio of negative one third, or that R is negative one third. Here's a particular sequence. Here is the formula that we can use to find any term of a sequence. This is the formula specifically for a geometric sequence. Notice in this problem, the first to second term changes from 16 to 12. Now, while that may appear like a decrease of four, which it technically is there, the real question is, what are we multiplying by 16 to get 12? And if you recall that number r, or the common ratio. So now, if you do a little bit of math on this, you'll find out that r is 3 fourths. So here's the formula for a geometric sequence. We could plug in for n any term that we wanted to know. For R and A1, we know those values are 16 and 3 fourths. We can plug those in. And now I have what's called the general term or the nth term of this geometric sequence. What if I wanted the fifth term? Well, then I would simply plug in 5 for N. Do a little algebra. Done. Let's say we wanted the sum of the first 10 terms of a sequence. In other words, if we wanted the series value, this is the formula that you can use to find the sum. Notice in this case, r is negative two because each term is negative two times the previous. Using the sum formula and plugging in 10 for n, and plugging in the first term and the R values that we know, we can just do some PEMDAS, use a calculator perhaps, do a bunch of math, and we'll get our answer. And this is going to be the sum of the first 10 terms of this sequence. In other words, it's gonna be the first 10 terms of the series. You might notice that we could just as easily probably have typed this in a calculator and gotten the same answer.